Oh, we're already starting. Uh, this is uh, Helix versus Team 156. Team 156 starting down here in uh, sub access and Helix starting over in Atrium, and this is going to be a big game here. This is actually an interesting game. This is the oldest North American team here uh, versus the newest North American team. Helix, we've already kind of gone over here as the any Kickstart team that just formed basically right before this tournament. And Team 156, their name coming from the fact that their team formed during build 156 in beta. So this is a really old team here. You know, they, they should probably be looking into getting maybe a senior citizen discount, you know, at the end of... <laughs> but, what do we got? We got that patented 131 push going on straight into Computer Lab. Gorge being Gorge com caught completely out of position there. And the oh my... <laughs> That was a big pickup there. I mean, they do they do win the reactor fight, but losing a gorge and a harvester for one extractor is not a good trade. And Vance, I might even be able to pick him off here. Uh, he's not gonna be able to save it, but still not a not a good trade. Wow. We got the marines already moving. This might already be marching into this hive. All three of these marines <laughs> taking out all of them as they come in. Mike a little bit cut off from his buddies right here. Gets taken this out. This is already an egg lock. This is an egg lock here. Egg lock scenario. The Gorge has got to try to get back. What is he doing? He's going back to Skull. I don't know if that's the one that you wanted to it's do. It's all up to Maurice Moss. Maurice Moss. If he wins this engagement, you're on the so back foot. We need foot. some meds here. You gotta make the shots. Give him as many meds as he needs if you can win this fight. That's it for that one. Uh -huh. Thank goodness. I didn't really want that to turn into egg lock so early, but that was some great pressure by Helix. Getting the extract or the harvester and the gorge, pushing into base, nearly getting an egg lock. Just need to win probably one engagement there. I like this little tunnel that they have going on over here in ventilation, though. Tunnel and ventilation. Oh, wow. <laughs> sure Look can, at that design. I'm not even sure. Look at the arch. Look at that. the design factors <laughs> there. That's beautiful. I'm not sure what it does though. It doesn't seem like it really accomplishes anything. Except yeah, I don't think you can go under there. <laughs> so the Marine team going uh, for pressure again over to the complex side. Unfortunately, it hasn't been dropped yet. We do have two skulks in here to kind of delay them. It's going to turn into a four man push actually, with uh, Enzo taking up the backside here. Scaredy Bob bouncing down on top oh, of Mike. Really nice pickup. Oh, might right lose there. another Get gorge. Harvest. kind of like jumped over you first because I got too excited and then you got quiet and then I got quiet. well you started talking I don't want to talk over you but um bartender Bill almost dying there as a gorge again and uh it's just really close he's kind of going to poke out there do some spits uh lands a hit on Enzo but he knows they can't really take anything they're just trying to get some extra damage fast side facing another two on one over here in data core and he's been basically by himself this whole game I try to do what he can on the right side here finishes the uh Harvester, but the power not quite finished yet. They're getting in another egg lock scenario, so when they die, they're gonna have to be waiting for a while. Helix and Enzo, Maria Moss, coming in. Red Hook getting the flank on Maria Moss right there. The meds are falling down. Bartender Bill giving a little bit of helping hand with that heal. Moss is all that's left here, and definitely gonna be going down in that little fight right there. But ventilation is getting hammered by Mike right here, using his hatchet on him, except running out of bullets on the first skulk, and then lurking off, finishing him off. Pretty easily. All right, so bartender Bill pushing back up with Scary Bob and Red Hook over in a computer lab. We got some mines going up from Rich in preparation of the alien pressure here. Didn't deal just Scary Bob by himself. Gonna have to dance around that mine. And Scary Bob and Red Hook doing a great job of making sure they don't activate that. Just showing a little bit of the experience there, knowing how to dodge around those mines properly. So Vaticide now moving forward. Uh, looks like they're opting not to build. Uh, the data core high, or um, sorry, extractor here. But I think it's a little bit of a misstep. I mean, the power's already almost done. Go ahead and build that, get some extra res going, and if he's not gonna pressure anyways, he needs to move through there. Uh, opting instead to go through maintenance access by himself. The weird thing is, again, we keep seeing that 1-3-1 one, one pressure at the start, but they always are going with the one IP start. I mean, once these waves get cleared, it really slows down your re-expansion because, you know, when three guys go down, that's 18 seconds waiting for respawn, and we kind of see that that three pressure was successful, but after that, it's like the, uh, the attacks have kind of slowed down a lot, and you haven't seen much more of that uh, hyper-aggression. Look at this. Atrium IP is under attack. It's at half. There are two... Two skulks in there. Miriam the comm forced to jump out. Gets killed by his <laughs> own mine. 
And now they're gonna have to force themselves to buy some uh, welders soon. Except we have two skulks coming in, camping this IP. That is the comm spawning back up. Comm gets picked back down. I oh, we're gonna get picked up by Maurice Seven Moss, here. though. Maurice Moss. He needs to hurry up. 8%. Um, Scary Bob's gonna take it down. And here we go. This is There's it. no they IPs right now. Oh, he gets taken out by a mine. <laughs> So I think they're going to be fine here. I mean, there's no aliens in really position to, to do anything about this. It's just Miram that's dead. So, I mean, it all does is delay them here. I'd be a little bit careful with this pressure because of the fact that no one can spawn. You have Fantasite by himself down in the hive. You got a little bit of pressure going down in the computer lab, but this time it's set up with Hydras and the fact that the IP isn't quite done yet. Uh, going to be you know a little bit risky if they die here. Bartender Pill doing a really great play, waiting for the bullets to be emptied, and then diving in against uh, those two Marines, managing to get both of them killed down. I know, uh, mine going off, but the only thing it does is uh, kill Rich with his own mind. Killed with your own mind. Alright, so we do have the two IPs up. I would like to see someone get mines in the base so that they don't have to worry about that pressure again. Uh, look at, looking off hit a, uh, hit a mine, but didn't quite die to it because they have Carapace there. And the Marines aren't looking too bad. I mean, they got the four structures going at five. Just need to be able to. I don't think cross. What, what did they get finished? Was it crevice? I don't know. All these harvesters look finished to me. Oh, they just finished the fifth one now. So it must have been reactor, I'm assuming. Um, anyway, so they lose the engagement there over in Data Core. And that's going to go down before anyone can uh, get back over there to help them. Sis going up from Comp Lab into Crossroads. I'm not sure if that's to block or they fix you want to take Crossroads. Don't, don't, don't back like you heard that. That's on the floor. But, um, continue first of that phone. Got me. <laughs> <laughs> oh, and, uh... Enzo almost saves the extractor in Crossroads. Lurking off, going ahead and fishing it, even though they get pushed off of there. Um, but now with the cyst there, they're going to have to clear it out before they can even think about taking it. So, um, you know, I'm, I, I kind of think that that was the play there. It's going to be too risky to actually take Crossroads, so that's probably what they were going for as aliens. Marine's still on four, though. Going on five with... Uh, the uh, flight control one being built. And we're going to turn quickly into a 2-3 pressure. 2-2 two, two, now that Inzo's gone down. Just shooting the harvester all the way from pipeline while Vaticide covers Rich. And ooh, some great shooting by Rich and Vaticide there getting a nice assist. But Scary Bob picking off Rich on his own. Vaticide trying to go in all in on that harvester. It is at 50%. Scary Bob can easily use this moment to dive on him, which he does. And no amount of bullets right there can actually kill that uh, harvester. I think Vatisai thought it was lower than it really was because Rich had been putting some uh, damage into it. But, you know, if they don't go over there and heal that, it's still going to be about 30%. And it's going to be, you know, very easy for the Marine team of and if, uh, if Mike and uh, Rich really to push quick, down. You can see a great example of how double pressure really works on the field. We got two in Comp Lab and then two moving down through Data Core. Their pressure is probably going to sync up at a nice time here. So they definitely have to watch out for both comp lab area and then ventilation too at the same time. The one skulk over there, Skatey Bob, sees this pressure coming, but there's not much he can do about it because it's just him over there. So I'm just waiting for these two marines to like shove up there. Look at that. All four, uh, uh, two lurks and two skulks over there in flight control. This is the perfect opportunity to destroy ventilation. Yeah, they're definitely going to get ventilation. No one's even close to being able to stop them. They do get a drifter for their time as well. And... <laughs> Let's say the wall basically got destroyed there, so now it's more like a speed bump. <laughs> I think it was an arch. They call those arches. Oh, look arch. at look at Dr. Tacos up here in a crevice. He's lurking the vent here, and he's got no HP. And if Red Hurt can't oh. get him out of here, he might be stuck. Just It'll be remember that that lurk do... is still there. He's looking like he's going to peek. This is not the time you want to do it. It's really dangerous in there. He's oh, and oh, looking off, no. it's taken down in me! Oh. oh, just down in sub access from the vent. Mike doing some extra damage there. Did you see that lurking? Bartender Bill trying to clear him up. I saw that. <laughs> That's like an execution. <laughs> <laughs> Woo! That's painful. 
All right, so we're on. Oh, man, I might have even looked at a different look. I saw a different look. Wait, wait, down. wait, wait, wait. Can, Okay, so which one did you see? I saw the look in crevice. Remember how I was talking? Oh no, no, no. I saw the one go down and, and sub. I didn't realize there were oh, two looks well, inside at the same he was time. They're perched and peeking, and I was looking at him. Enzo jumped up into the vent with uh, his or her shotgun and <laughs> blasted him. He was peeking over the corner to see if anybody looked, and then it's like, oh no, and just one big pellet to the face, and they got vaporized. So within just a matter of seconds. Um, Team 156 is losing both of their lurks, so now they're out of life forms until they get to fade. And, you know, they've only got uh, two they only got two aliens that can go fade. Red Hook, a powerful flank on that shotgun right there, who is hyper-focused on those uh, Hydras. Now it's left the Vac decide to try to clean up this mess. He might be able to. He's got a pistol left. The meds are coming in. Quite a bit of meds, but lurking off landing those big 75 bites, overpowering the med support. Dr. Taco's winning the engagement on Mike here, but he's not going to be able to do much against both Inzo and Moss. That's kind of a really back phase gate right there. That's like all the way in the back of the room. And yeah, I think he recycled it to move it forward. Yeah. The reason it was there earlier is because they actually had uh, the whole crossroads system up, so that's the only spot that was really free. So it wasn't their original choice, but I think it would have been safer to actually make sure this phase gate gets built before recycling the old one. A little bit of a gamble there, hoping that they could just get that rebuilt. So this alien so, transitioning into a little bit of RT pressure, except now we have uh, Lurkin off here, running into Vacticide, scouting out this hive. Scaredy Bob getting picked off. Lurkin off has got to be careful right here. He doesn't want to get himself picked. He's got those things, but he's, oh, he's running out of HP. It's up to him to save a life. Bartender Bill coming in, but not in time. The gorge going down will really slow down that high from growing itself up. It's going to take like, about an extra minute now without that uh, without that, that gorge there to heal the hive up. So it's a good play there by Vaticide, killing the gorge, and just making sure that they delay the alien tech as much as possible. You know, these Hydras in Comp Lab have really paid themselves off. We've lost two shotguns, many Marines, and all of them keep getting cleared here. I'm going to wonder if they're going to be able to do a play like this again, but look at this. we got four Skulks gearing up to crush these guys. They're running out of bullets. This is the moment where it happens. Scaredy Bob going straight for Mike. Dr. Taco's trying to clear <laughs> out Maria Moss, but the shotgun proving way too much to handle for one little Skulk. Maurice Moss doing a great job. Oh, Lands all three of his shells in a row. Oh, my God! i right on the flank! And because we were here! Oh! Nicely done by Bob right there. Excellent play. Vanessa cleaning out those uh, s those uh, crags now in flight control. And if they can put another push team over from uh, Crossroads to flight, they could take this because they don't have any fades. Fades aren't up yet. They're getting close, but they're not quite there. Bob just now hitting that special 50 res mark. Probably going to be spending his time defending this hive for the moment. And look at this. We have a three-man pressure coming into uh, Summit Reception. Walking into the hive, we only have skulks in here right now. Hive is at 90%. They still got a little bit to go. They need to slow down this wave. They don't want to dump on this quick. Red Hook, you just got to wait it out. Don't go yet. You've got 5% left on this. I've still got one Craig up. You'll be okay. You can heal wave if you need to. Just kind of hold out. Hold out. Hold out. 100%. Here it goes. Your hive's done. Now you can jump in. That hive finished. They'll get that extra healing boost. The Craig is still online. But oh no. Eight. Oh, Rick getting pinned right as soon as he comes out. Oh. Scary Bob, the time to go fade. So Scary Bob's on his way now, and it's going to be a big factor whether or not the aliens can hold this hive. That Craig is still up. A very nice thing that it's been left alive right there. And now with all these eggs spawning up, it's definitely going to ensure that there will be a win for the aliens in this fight right here. Scaredy Bob taking a big hit, but knowing to get out because he knows he can't lose that fade. Three pressure going down. Four pressure? No, it looks like Rich is going to stay back just to defend. Uh, going to try and hit Comp Lab. I feel like they need to keep hitting um, Ventilation, though, with at least one guy. Yeah, if they start forgetting about the res game here, the Hive is done. The Craigs are up. They just can't force this fight right now. They need to try to get the res down. Need to try to get some fade picks. That's what you need to focus your game on right now. Red Hook doing a little bit of an aggressive dive here, getting down to half health, 38%. Bob in a really bad position. Security Bob get out getting there. hit. Shadow Step B up, baby. Oh, he gets hit with a pistol. Shit. That 14%, probably a little bit lower than that from our view. But Bob looking so carefully scared, trying to get out of there, not wanting to lose that Red Hook coming in, giving the support. Back to side being singled out. Bob doing another dive right here. But oh. Dancing around, gotta be careful. Get these Marines down, you can do this. Just gotta take it really careful. Be careful about them shotgun blasts. The meds are still coming in. 
Com is giving a lot of support to this push here. Nothing else is going on on the back end. Skulks are coming in from uh, Comp Lab. Looks like they went on down to sub though. Leaving this to the fades. Bob managing to finally get one pick off there. Red Hook getting another one coming in on the other flank. It looks like two fades are going to try to do a dive here. They can do this. They just have to take it smart. Try to get the same guy once. Mike goes down. Enzo's all that's left. Meds are still dropping, but Renzo goes down to Red Hook. And, you know, I think if they had brought welders to that group, it would have been a lot more effective because they weren't going in for a commitment on the alien side. They were just going in for picks to, to, to reduce the armor. If they had someone welding the armor back up, it would have been a lot more successful and they would have had to take bigger risks as aliens. I think the other thing that happened there, somebody walked in through Summit, but he was solo, which allowed Red Hook to get an easy pick on a solo Marine, and uh, that kind of let the, the uh, play fall apart. An interesting beacon there. There are Marines in Crevice chasing the Fades, but the beacon pulled them to the other side of the Fades, allowing them to get out. And the Fades gets going to go down to Data Core. That's important because that's going to make sure that the uh, Marines aren't going to be able to hold Data Core and won't be able to pressure very easily over to the ventilation side now. I think the Marines have just, have just switched it up and gone for uh, ventilation, taking it down and maybe move their phase gate up. They could have been in a lot better position here, but now their res game is going to be hurting, especially with losing data core here, even if Reese Moss can clean up Lurk and, and, uh, Lurk and Dr. Tacos. Dr. Tacos. <laughs> what a name. Hey, I had some tacos. Pretty good. And I'm still looking here, you know, what the Marines really need is to... Uh, Either hit RTs or pinch a fade or two and make sure that they go down. Like these uh, two fades in Crossroads are um, the only fades up on the field right now. And nobody else can afford to get one until uh, a T-Rest drop comes out. Looks like Dr. Tacos might be going another fade here. Bob taking a little bit of heavy chip there. Getting down to 28% before retreating in through flight. So these Marines are still in this game right now. They just have to try to reestablish Data Core. Maybe get a phase gate up there. Or at least get into ventilation. You've got to get that forward presence and make sure you can get your triangle up. Try to hold two areas at once. I think it'd be safer to get that, that data core phase gate back up until you can pressure and clear ventilation and then move it forward. But trying to go straight, straight for ventilation. Oh, I'm rich getting a big hit on Dr. Tacos over in Pipe Junction. i got two fades now going into crossroads. They're going to try and create a feed gate here. There's not really... I mean, Mike and Mira moving through. Commander moving through to try and save that phase gate. Oh... And that's going to probably go down unless... No, nah, I don't think Fatith is going to be able to save it in time. Might get a big hit, though. Might scare him off. I pulled up the shotgun. Scares them off. You know, gets thrown onto the Barely. game. Barely. Bob getting dangerous. Bob taking some risks. Very bad big risk. Bob is almost... It's a rounds. 12% HP. Oh. Escaping through the comp lab exit. I was, like, covering my mouth there because I was about to scream about the fact that Bob was staying in. Taking some big risks. Ooh, Taco. Dr. Taco is also really low. With that baby. You don't want to lose another high life form. It's still anybody's game. If you lose these life forms, it will change the pace instantaneously. Gotta be careful. What's weird is they have 56 res, but they're not dropping T-Res life forms. They could use that. Jetpack started. So, it's opting up to go for more upgrades. Um, we're now going to be going for jetpacks for uh, the, the Vex, or not Vex, <laughs> so Vex Helix team. And be interesting to see what they do with those. I mean, like, flight's an okay hive to hit with jetpacks, but there's not really anywhere to perch with them. So it's going to be difficult for them to, like, hit with just jetpacks. Yeah, and with jetpacks that only armor one, you know, it doesn't really give you that much more defense. It might be more advantageous to go for uh, some kind of upgrade, either weapons or armor. But we'll see what they can do with it. Enzo coming right through the face, getting chopped up. However, Vacticide coming through, Rich coming out. Landing some big hits on Bob. Bob almost falling into the hole, trying to escape away. He's got 17% HP right there. Dr. Tacos is down at 36%. He's flying around over there. If Enzo changes his focus, though, he can easily get the pick. Dr. Tacos being forced to retreat out through the summit reception exit. I actually can't believe that they saved that gate. It was really close to going There's down. There's a really interesting thing here is uh, Mike, he has been hitting alien harvesters nonstop. If you look at uh, ventilation here, he just killed it. He'd also been hitting Comp Lab, which is sitting at 22%. And I don't think the alien comm realizes that he needs to put some crags on those things so they don't go down so easily. Mike is just uh, so an AR Marine just walking into these RTs. So we've, lost, we've only lost like four alien harvesters. I mean, 
as much as he's doing damage, it's not it's not enough. Four, four harvesters by the 19 and a half minute mark is is really not uh, you know anything to write home. Look at Red, hook. Look at red hook here in Data Core. He might get, he's get pinched. If Rich can land two more shots, Red Hook's down at six. Oh my gosh! He's stuck. Oh, he should. Oh, Red Hook! If you just chased. But look at this. Bob over on the other side taking a big bunch of How hits is... right here. Bob's at 19%, trying to get to the hive. There he goes, taking the exit out into flight control. How's this gate being built in Data Core? It's like right on top of a whole bunch of insulation. I'm not sure how that's being built. Might be some kind of old bug with the... I don't know. <laughs> I don't know well, how that works. I know you can weld stuff up when it's on infestation. They placed it on the infestation. Okay, maybe it's... Something else. I don't know. <laughs> Mike with a JP here. He's got no oh. armor right now. The obs and base is just going down to Red Hook. He's just sitting there hitting. <laughs> Getting scared off by Rich. All right, now this is kind of kind of stabilized now that the jetpacks are up. Marines still need to push up to ventilation. I maintain though. The obs is still low in base. We've got, got Skinny Bob, all Red Hook, and Dr. Place. Taco's. Red Hook running out of energy. Oh, Dr. Taco's getting pretty low, too. Oh, he's one careful. big hit. He's oh, probably going to go down here. Down. Yeah. Woo. Getting too greedy. I mean, when you got that gas, you always have to be so careful about how much gas to use because you'll start burning out your ability to fly out of the room, which happened right there. He went too much gas, and then the Marines made him pay for it because he just couldn't fly away. That feeling when you run out of energy and you're trying to flap your wings and you just can't flap anymore. I know it. Just can't flap no more. Vaticide versus Red Hook, 1v1 over in Reactor Core. Red Hook knowing better, just backing out. Doesn't want to take that big of a risk. Gonna go in. Oh, and Vaticide's welding. I still think this is maybe not a fight he wants to be taking right now. Red Hook with uh, much more to oh, lose no, here. Oh no, but now he has Inzu coming in. Helping him out. Will he land the big shot? He's going out through Data Corp. Probably the worst place to go to if you want to try to escape. Well, the other option is Crossroads. I mean, they doesn't have a whole lot of options there. Got the little... Oh, he's taking a big hit. hit. Red Hook, be careful. 31% making it over to the safety heal station. But we got something going on. A Marine start right now. Bunch of JPs getting torn up by Scaredy Bob Fade, who's currently running at 57% health. Getting chased off by Rich. Taking it down to 25% again. So much damage this is... on these fades, just no follow-throughs and kills. So we're shaping up to take this game to late if we don't crush uh, Data Core here pretty soon as uh, the aliens. And that phase gate's gotta be moved out of the corner there. It's not a good spot for yeah, it because they get clear here. Pick. Red Hawk! Red Hawk! Pick this time. Oh, he finally goes down! A big play by Rich right there. That's what they need to keep this game afloat. It's gonna be a big one. This is gonna be another one of those long games. All right, Crossroads now being hit by Dr. Tacos and Scary Bob. But once they pop through his shotguns, Dr. Tacos taking a big hit. Vasa needs to focus and try and go for the one target right here, there. But no, Maria Moss trying to finish off Dr. Tacos. He's in a really bad position. Rich and everybody looking up. Dr. Tacos, 21%. One small little chip. Can Enzo get the pick? Mike's coming in from the other side. Here it comes. Mike flying in. Dr. Tacos, 23%. No energy. Lurking off. A Scary Bob also goes down. Scary Bob goes down. The only fade left out of this is lurking off. He's floating around at 34, making it back over to ventilation. Ooh. Oh my god. <laughs> oh so man. Titu about to be finished here. We got we got a healing station set up in ventilation. And I think if we can, if, if the alien Marines can clear out ventilation, they'll be in such good shape that they just need to recognize that that's a push off point for the aliens to take that down. Marines must getting a huge hit and lurking off. He might go down here. There's three Marines shooting, and we actually have. Over here, Mike cutting him off. He's going back to the healing base. He needs to pull out his gun and start shooting Can him. Can you make it out? 15%. Uh, oh my gosh. Excellent job once again. If he had had, if uh, Mike had had his gun out that whole time instead of knifing or axing, he might have been able to clear lurking off there. Lurking off making the dive again, but he's got no energy for this fight. He's got to be careful can't blink away if he keeps engaging like this he's gonna run out of the retreat energy the marines are closing in now lurking off down to 43 percent 36 percent back to side right on top of him no heal waves coming out he's getting forced out again whoa man those blinks and shadow steps are so sloppy so dangerous that's really smart of Vasai being able to force that fade away from those crags because he had the choice to go all the way back to the hive or fight and he knew he couldn't fight look at 
Scaredy Bob taking a big hit. There's one crag there, but it's not going to be enough to kill him. He might go down here. here. He's so low. He's 7%. To... Lurking off, taking another dive in here. Being so dangerous against these high level shotguns coming in. Their aim is pretty sharp. They're not missing them. These fates got to be careful. They're throwing dice here. It's that Dyson game. Roll so the dice of life. <laughs> going to continue to try and finish out this crag. Oh, getting some good hits on Enzo, lurking off moving forward, but once the vast side backs him up, he's gonna have to retreat. He's gonna finish off this crag, and that extraction's only half done, so it's good, or half uh, live, so it's probably gonna be the next target here on the list. So, Bartend Bill, 71 res. He's gonna be about a minute and a half out from going to uh, Onos right now. Then we have lurking off, 61 res. Probably another nine minutes to six minutes. Oh, but lurking off goes down, oh, so he's gonna have no. to wait as a skulk. We have 53 T res, though. Maybe we can drop him a redrop on that fade. It's not such a big investment right now because they are going into this late game area. Bartender Bill, 72 res, another 60 seconds or so, and he'll be able to get that Onos up. But there goes one of the harvesters. I might slow it down for another 15 seconds or so. Scaredy Bob coming in. Max Risch out of bullets right now. Bob, just land a few swipes. You can take those two out, but no, pushed out again. Maybe going. We have Red Hook over here in Data Corp, but oh, but they. Oh, I missed Bartender Bill taking down the phase gate in Crossroads. Red. And then at least Red Hook over here all by himself to be take, take, take down the gate. Oh, but he's going to get pinched in here. He's got to be so careful. Red Hook taking a big meaty shot. Rich cutting off part of the escape route. 31% on that fade. Just managing to get out and losing the uh, Crossroads fight behind this. Yeah, we lost the engagement there in Crossroads. Which means we're going to lose the gate. Going to probably I'm lose the... I would I guess the command station just to prevent uh, jets for a little bit here. Weapons 3 just now finishing up. I think that you're going to see the Fade's close calls start to turn into uh, just deaths here from uh, moving out. Rich going straight to save that command station. A really smart call there because you want to keep that stuff up. Bob taking a dive. He's got to be careful. This time they have Weapons 3. Maria Moss being able to catch Bob on his escape route, just barely letting him get away. Bob getting lucked out again with that Fade movement of his. Look at Red Hook here. So trying trying to, get to get back to site. Almost succeeding right there. And we're gonna be we're gonna be in a position shortly where Marines are not gonna have to worry so much about saving res for tech because they're already on 3-2. I mean they've got like three 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 together, so you have to get armor three, and then if they want to go something like turrets or arcs or something, they can't, but basically they're 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 essentially done with tech. The announcement unless they wanted to do something strange. Onos is ready, though. Bartender oh, and Scaredy up, Bob up, loses up. his fade. Oh, I just caught that one. So with the Onos up, we're now into the late game stage here. We got Weapon 3, A2, Onos fades, and all sorts of big stuff on the field. It's still anybody's game. As long as this Onos is up, the aliens have a big chance of taking this back by some kind of big play, maybe a double push. Who knows what they got in store. But this is it, the final stages. Here he's going, making a move now over to Data Core with just Red Hook to back him up. They do, oh, they're all leaving. Mike's going to be the one left here without a jetpack. He needs to run away from the phase gate. That phase gate's still in such a bad spot. Anyone coming through there is going to die. I, I miss lurking off, dying somewhere. Don't looks go like through over the gate. Don't do it. Don't do it. Oh, they moved away from the gate. They moved away from the gate. Don't, if don't, they don't, through, don't, they don't, 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 through. don't, don't. You're going to lose all your gate. Oh, that's why that all that, stuff, needs to be moved. all that stuff is gone. That was a huge loss there for the for uh for Helix. Oh uh, no! <laughs> that was so sad to watch. I feel bad. Oh, the that's gear. why you Look don't build them against walls. Too. They're starting to dry out. They don't have many RTs left. They're starting to slowly get taken out. And now the Onos is inside of Crossroads, but, but he is at 2%. If they manage to phase through fast enough, they can take up this Onos. He's, got, he's at 5 No, chase, chase! They're not chase. chasing. They're not chasing. Back to side. You have to make the play. Dr. Hulk is only at 50%. Oh, they missed a big opportunity right there. That Onos could have been mincemeat. But now they have lurking yeah. off another minute out for getting a second Onos on this field. I think if they had known how low exactly he was, they would have chased. But, you know, it's hard to gauge that sort of thing unless the commander's able to click on him and give you an exact health count. Able to defend the crossroads is just good, but they gotta get some field presence because they lost data core and the aliens are just sitting back over there and they're gonna take it. And they're gonna soon get pinned on just crossroads in their base. 
They are doing a little bit of harassment to the aliens RTs right now, but that's not what they need. What they need to focus on is trying to get these life forms down, like Red Hook right here. There is no way out. If he can just land this shot. Oh! oh a big and blast another from Red fade Hook. down. A handful of cash in the face of Red Hook. Beautiful. And that leaves us with just the Onos. There's no other life forms actually on the field. It's just that one Onos. I think if they can identify the fact that they, that's him by himself, they could locate him and swarm him. Oh, here it is. Class he's going into reactor core is a really dangerous spot because they can reinforce from Atrium or the other side. He's got to try to force himself out of here. He's down to 64%, 50%, 37, 31. They're pushing as hard as they can. He's at 24%. Vacticide is not giving up. He wants to get blood. He wants blood. Bartender Bill running out of energy, 27%. Red Hook giving him a nice assist, making him pull off. Oh, but look at this! There's a Marine inside of Sub! But he doesn't know how low Bartender Bill is. He's not getting any meds either. Probably a smart call right there. Save it up for something good and big. But we have lurking off 76 res. Scaredy Bob, 73 res. We're going to have an Onos explosion coming up here. One of the triumphant parts of the late game here. It's going to be big. There's going to be a lot of HP on the field. It's all up to what these Marines are going to do to handle this situation. And we've got, uh, we've got a Robo going up in Crossroads. Uh, Going to go for Arcs, I'm assuming, instead of Armor 3. I mean, in, in theory, you, once you get Fades down, you don't really need the third armor because Armor 2 does give you the extra uh, Gorge attack from the uh, Horn attack from the Onos. So in theory, you probably don't need it right now, maybe? That would be my reasoning behind it. But look at this. Marines going straight into flight control. The Onos is coming in. Oh, but I don't think you want to dive just like that, Maria Moss. You are running low on your jet fuel. Just play it safe. Save your gear and keep that up. No, he's it going getting in. baited in. Oh, no. You don't want to And there's the second. Now they know there's three autos. Well, this is the big finale of the game here. They know that they're on the field. They know where they are. They're pr they got to keep scanning. They got to figure out where they're going to hit, and they have to focus them down. Mike, you got to get out of there. You got to get out of there, Mike. He can't get out of there. He gets cornered by the Onos. And here it is. The big ball. The big help. Oh, my goodness. This is the fight. They know it's coming. They haven't scanned for it, though. The base. problem is that They're if they base. are all... Oh, no. Oh, no. They're in the wrong place. But they have the they have the obs. They need to focus the obs. If the aliens want to win, they have to focus the obs. They're going straight for the power node. This is it. The comp jumps out. They're all shooting at the, the Onos. Bob is that.